What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video. And today, this video is all about the Average Dad tech store. No phone reviews or anything like that, but if you're interested in buying a new phone from the Chinese market, stay tuned to the end of this video because I will be giving you a 4% discount code for any payment method. PayPal, bank transfer, credit card, 4% off the entire range at the AD Tech Store. And also, I'm excited to tell you about new markets I am now able to ship to and you can order from straight from the store. Let's go. So first of all, the discount. Let's start there. 4% discount to celebrate now over 400 orders since the store opened roughly 11 weeks ago. Absolutely mind blowing. Can't thank you all enough for the support. But those orders have came without being able to ship to certain markets. So firstly, let's discuss the markets. I have been able to ship to most markets. My warehouse can ship to all, but logistically, you'd have to send me your address if you're in one of those markets the Shopify site wouldn't take from. It was a whole thing. Well, now, today, I am delighted to let you know that straight from the checkout on the store, you can get your phone shipped to Saudi Arabia, UAE, Thailand, Philippines, Mexico, Bahrain, do you like how I pronounced that? I think that's right. And many, many other markets. Yes, I've added them all to the checkout now. So if you are one of my thousands of Saudi Arabian Middle East viewers, firstly, thanks very much. I'm delighted that my uh, reach has gone that far. I actually have cousins in Qatar, which I now ship to too, and they have friends that watch the channel, which is just wild to me. So I now ship there, makes it easier for you, makes it easier for me as well, to be honest, rather than going through the whole WhatsApp or email conversation to swap addresses. And now to celebrate the 400 plus orders, I want to give you all 4% off using any payment method not just restricted to the UK bank transfer. You can use PayPal or credit card. For context, credit card fees are about 2.5%. So with 4% discount added on top of that, Average Dad isn't making much profit, let me promise you. But contrary to what some people write in the comments that I'm only looking to make profit from a business, which is kind of an odd comment anyway, isn't that the purpose of a business? But anywho, I will not be making said profit from those devices, most likely. So anyway, you don't care about that. You care about the code. Here it is, 4% off. And that code is going to remain for the whole weekend. Today is Thursday. The code starts now. It will end at midnight on Sunday evening. So take your time. Look at lots of reviews, ideally mine, and do your research before ordering. You have a few days until you need to purchase. There's no rush. Please take your time. And if you've got any questions, use a little contact me section on the website and you can ask me any questions you like. So that was the, the store update. For those that also care about the channel in general, I am taking a new approach to the comment section. I will no longer be responding to all comments. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not responding to the constructive, nice, helpful comments. I will be, of course. But the amount of trolls that are in the comment section, which is only going to happen as channels grow, I mean, literally look at any channel on the planet you always get a subset of people a very small minority but a subset of people that just well they're vile that, to be honest there, there's no other way around it however when such comments start to question my principles or why i make content for example the one plus open scam video i made yesterday it wasn't even one or two it was like seven or eight people were this is just 
a video to push the Oppo Find N3 from my store. You couldn't be more wrong. In that very video, I said you should look at a used OnePlus Open. I don't sell them. I also said you should hold on to your money until the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Such a long name. But until that comes out. The only reason I brought up the Find N3 is because the new OnePlus Open Apex Edition is the Oppo Find N3. I had one very loyal viewer and... I have no hate or shade towards you because we worked it out. But one viewer, absolutely adamant that this was a new phone because it had a new security chip and new security features. I had to explain that no, 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 no. Those security features exist on the Chinese Oppo phones already. That's not new. So anyway, we sorted it out, but it's important you know that as well. I didn't just make it up. I wasn't joking when I said this is the Oppo Find N3 Red Edition. It genuinely is. From outside to internals, it's the exact same phone. They have had stock left in the Oppo warehouse and they've just branded it with a OnePlus logo. Now, again, a few people said, but other manufacturers do this. Well, I'd argue they don't, not after a year. There is zero manufacturer that doesn't do some form of hardware or software upgrade in a year life cycle of a phone. So I don't take that argument, but I do appreciate that some people said they haven't changed the price, but they have. The price of the Apex edition is going to be hopefully 1,600. It could be as high as 1,800 pounds. But the OnePlus Open is 1250 brand new on the OnePlus website. So should you pay an extra 350 to 550 pounds for an extra half terabyte of storage? Absolutely not. That's more expensive than Apple would charge for storage. So that's why I made the video not to push the Oppo Find N3. This video is to push the average dad tech store because Believe it or not, I would like to make a living for myself and my family while also giving you the best prices for phones that I absolutely adore. That's it for 99.9% .9 of you that watch the videos. Again, I, I really can't thank you enough. The full amount of sales and hits the websites get, which is now about 50,000 hits, has directly come from this channel. I've never done a Google ad. All the reviews are from this channel. Over a hundred, nearly five star reviews. 4.9 is the average. Uh, again, absolutely mind blown. And yeah, thank you. So a small token of my gratitude comes in the form of 4% discount. There's a code again. I'll be back soon with the Honor Magic V3 versus the X Fold 3 Pro video. However, quick note, I had so many people comment saying that it's not a fair comparison because the X Fold 3 I had was a global version. That in itself I don't necessarily agree with because the V3 will have a global version at some point too, but I can see your point. So the reason the video has been delayed is because I've ordered the Chinese version of the V3 and the Chinese version of the X Fold 3 Pro. They will be with me in the next, well, actually one of them's over there. The other one should arrive tomorrow. So there we go. That video will be out over the weekend. We are very much fast approaching 30,000 subscribers to my little tech channel. If you're one of those people that constantly watches the videos but haven't hit subscribe, that's okay. But I just want to let you know that it is free. To subscribe to this channel is free and it takes a second and it helps me. Until next time.